So recently I made a post on LinkedIn about why I left academia and that post I did not plan it sort of kind of took a life of its own and went semi-viral. Yeah, I, I, I'm making this video to kind of, you know, put in video form what I said there, but also to respond to some interesting comments that came with that post. So if this is your first time on my channel, I'm Dr. Gertrude Nontra. I have a PhD in microbiology and immunology and currently I do not work in academia. I work as a science writer. I make these videos to help people slay grad school and also navigate the career world after the fact. So why did I leave academia? Listen, I've enjoyed my academic journey. I, my PhD, I was a postdoc, and then I went to, into adjunct teaching at a community college. Whilst I was in grad school, I knew that the research portion of things was not my strongest suit, but the things that I was really good at were teaching, explaining things, and writing things. So I knew that I was somehow going to take that path when I was done with school. So when I become an adjunct professor, truly I enjoyed every minute of it. I really do enjoy teaching and imparting knowledge. But one thing I learned very quickly is that being a professor, being a teaching professor, and if you watch this video right here where I talk about how much I got, I get paid as, or I got paid as an adjunct professor, you'll see why adjunct professors and generally you know, the academic people that teach in higher institutions or higher education institutions are not very well compensated. I felt that was, so this was unique to me, but I've spoken with quite a few people that have told me the same thing. And apart from the low pay, what used to be a secure job is no longer really secure. Recently, I came across another post by somebody who I was talking about teaching at a university for 10 years and when it was time for them to get tenure they were denied tenure something that used to be like a given you have a phd you finish you go into the university setting you get tenure is no longer guaranteed and so for me these two things were the main reasons i decided to leave it wasn't well compensated and if you have gotten a phd then it's likely that you have spent over 20 years in school okay not to mention even postdoctoral training that comes after your PhD which is sometimes still kind of like you're still a graduate student so to be honest it was it was hard for me and then as somebody that has a family okay you have to think about this somebody that has a family getting paid a thousand dollars or even two thousand dollars and on top of that I live in California super expensive state okay was was just not feasible and so I had to step out of there in order to command or get or get paid salary that would actually allow me to live now there was a comment a specific comment on the post that I made and I'm sure the person meant it as an innocent comment but then I realized that this is also the mindset of so many people in academia. And it's the reason why so many academics are so afraid to step out of the academy. The comment read something like, well, you know, that's good that you're leaving. It leaves room and less competition for the serious academics. <laughs> so here's the deal. Maybe you are in a place where your family is wealthy and therefore you can afford to take a low paying job because you do have a trust fund or you do have a family to fall back on if anything happens or you have something that supports you, okay? Or perhaps you truly don't need money for anything and you're willing to live in a, you know, in, in you know, impoverished situations for the rest of your life because you love academia so much um, and your research means so much to you. Maybe this is really you and for people who are like that, I say good for you. You know, I don't mean any malice at all. I'm sure that people like that, they don't mind, they don't care about the money, they don't care about all these superficial things that we superficial people care about. Maybe this is truly your situation. If that is your situation, then please, do stay in academia and fulfill your dreams in academia. But for some of us, we don't want to live 
in constant poverty with a dream that our research is going to mean anything or with this dream with this dream that it's only in academia that you can do meaningful work or it's only in academia that your research matters or it's only in academia that your work as an academic matters our work and our skills are valuable outside of university and college campuses so if you're watching this and you're conflicted about being a serious academic because you feel that leaving a situation that is not serving you or your family and the needs that you have. Now, let me open like disclosure here. <laughs> I have a child with special needs who needs extra attention and that means money. Believe it or not, it means money. So for me, it was important for me to get into a better financial situation so I could better also serve my family. And also, it's just not fun to not be able to pay your bills. It's not. Okay, so I wanted to be able to get out of that. But if you feel differently, please do not be the person that poisons the mind of somebody else that is conflicted around this and really wants to be able to live a good life it's okay to have money it's okay to be able to pay your bills it's okay to be debt free and for a lot of people they may have student loans from undergrad they may have you know situations like mine where somebody needs extra care and extra money so many things could be happening so many variables could be in our lives always 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 please consider that and do not think that you leaving academia in any way diminishes your work diminishes your worth or means that you are not a serious academic or you're unintelligent that is just such a false narrative and i wanted to be able to address that now the question on your lips may be so gertrude are you ever going to go back into academia and the truth is i do not know I may, I may not. See, we don't know what the future holds. It may be that a role comes my way or comes across my desk. That is a perfect fit. Actually, um, just as I landed my role as a science writer, a friend of mine that worked at a very prestigious and well-known university around me actually reached out to me and said, hey, this role is opening up at our college, at our university. It is a, a role that would really be a dream role and i'm sure it would have paid really well it was not teaching in the classroom though it was some other position at the university that was i would be well suited for i had to turn it down because i had just accepted this role as a science writer but if that had come my way when i hadn't gotten the science writer role maybe i would have taken it up so i'm never going to say never because a role could come that best suits my skill set and pays well and doesn't require that i do work i do not love or which feels draining now it's your turn sound off in the comments below have you left academia are you thinking of leaving academia what are your thoughts on it all let me know in the comments below